welcome back today's video is going to be a little different i'm not going to be giving you a tutorial on how to code something or do this do that i'm going to be teaching you how to check if your computer has been hacked because obviously we want to stay protected and if you're watching this video you've definitely had that feeling that worry you're like am i hacked why is my browser defaulting to yahoo why do i keep seeing cmd windows pop up that fear or oh maybe i shouldn't have gone on steam unlocked trust me i know exactly what you're feeling because i've been there so many times anyway there's so many ways that you can be hacked i can't even cover all of it so in this video i'm going to cover one of the most i'd say important ones or the ones that i was worried about the most at least and that's going to be checking if you have a trojan on your computer seeing if there's an active connection between your computer and the hacker by the way this video is for educational purposes only in this video, I will be explaining different techniques that hackers use and different things that malware does to hide itself and how you can make sure that you're safe and keep your system clean. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. So starting off with the best way to check if you're being hacked, and that's a certain CMD command that shows you every single program's active connections. It's super useful. So you just want to go Windows R type CMD. We're just going to be running command prompt, but you want to make sure you're running it as admin. So you want to do control shift enter. It's a little shortcut you can do and then just yes. And here we are. So the command is netstat dash nbf. Run this. So what you want to be looking for is established because there's time wait, there's established, there's since then. So yeah, over here, you can just look through all of these processes. So some of these programs I recognize and I know that they're legit Chrome. Yeah. And you can look through them and yeah, you just scroll through these processes. And if you see something sketchy and it's connected to another computer on port, like four, 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 four or something like that, then you know, something's up. So if you want to search for a specific port, so let's say you want to check for like the remote desktop port, you do three, three, eight, nine. If nothing shows up, okay. Whew. No remote desktop. If you want to check VNC ports, if you don't know what VNC is, I'll throw my video in the cards above about it. It's basically remote desktop, like being able to view someone's screen. It's pretty scary. So like check that out. So this is basically the manual way of doing it. You just like look through these, see if anything's up, if it looks fine, whatever. If it doesn't, then you end that process. So let's say, for example, nvcontainer.exe. What if I just thought that this was a malicious program or whatever? The command that I would do is task kill dash im and then put the process name and then dash f. And if you run this, it's going to end that process. So if you've watched my video with YDNA, it's basically another creator, another YouTuber. He makes like videos about money methods and stuff. And uh, we basically did a collab and I showed him a few things. And this is something that I showed. I'm just gonna put the clip in so you can see that. None of these really look suspicious. Lock app, support assist. These are just regular Windows processes. Then I see WinVNC. This is my computer's IP. So this is the attacker. Oh, so, okay. so you can actually get the hacker's IP and I can close the process. So you do that by using task kill. So if I type one, so I'm gonna run this and we Ooh. lose the connection right away. Yeah, now he's out of here. So you get the hacker out of there. So yeah, that's that. But honestly, this isn't the best way to do it. This works, but if you're actually scared like actually paranoid and you want something that's a little easier a little more organized i would use process hacker so there's many different programs that you know help you do this type of thing but i really like process hacker you just open it up I'll go to network and it's the same thing so you see all the names you see all the remote addresses and remote ports and you scroll down and you we're basically looking at the exact same thing as we did on the command prompt window except now it's easier you can just like see all the icons. It's a little more organized. And if you see a suspicious program, I don't know, any of these, for example, then you just right click, you can go to process, and then you can open up its file location, which is pretty useful because you can like check, you know, where it is. It, like this is valid, of course, program files, OBS studio, like, but if it's like in some app data temp hidden folder and it's like some weird exe, uh, you probably should upload that file to virus total and see what that's about and also you can terminate the process of course and just end it this is basically just like an advanced task manager but this isn't everything because another sneaky trick that hackers can do is that their malicious file is actually a dll and if you don't know what a dll is i <laughs> haven't actually made a video on that yet so might make one soon it's basically stands for a dynamic link library and it attaches to an exe and it has a bunch of functions that it calls. They can be injected into the process. And the way to check for that is you just go on the process, right click, properties. And this window should pop up uh, under modules. 
And over here, you'll see all the DLLs that it uses. Let's say you found a suspicious DLL. You can literally just unload it. You can inspect it. You can open the file location. I would open file location and then unload and basically like figure out what's going on exactly. Okay, so moving on to the next thing that you can check and that's your startup folder. In case you didn't know, when you get hacked by a hacker, it's not that they just drop a file and you know, it's good. They want persistence. They want every single time for you to turn on your computer for them to get some sort of connection, right? They really want to finesse you. And there's a few ways to check if a hacker has set his malware as a startup program. So this is actually the first thing that I would check if when you log on to your PC, you see like CMD windows pop up for one second. It's a massive sign that you have some malware on your computer that runs at startup. So the easiest way to check is just to open task manager. Let me give you another shortcut, control shift escape. Bam. And you want to go on to startup. And over here, you will see all the programs that run at startup. So you can enable them, disable them, open the file location. I remember before when I was messing around a little too much. I would have like a thing here. It would just be like program. And it would be enabled and I couldn't open the file path. And I was like, what the hell is this? So yeah, with those type of things you need to watch out for. But yeah, everything here looks fine. But sometimes you won't actually see it here. So I'm going to show you two more ways that you can check your startup. Now, the next way is to actually check like the startup folder folder. And you can open it by going Windows R and typing shell semicolon and then startup shell startup. And yeah, it should lead to this path, something like this. And for me, this folder is empty because I deleted everything that was here. But an easiest way that malware can be set as startup is uh, copying itself to this folder. And literally, if I, if I create like a file here, like a batch file or whatever, every single time that I start up my computer, it's going to run. It's as easy as that. So, so this is a really easy one that you should look out for. And the last one is checking the registry because that's where malware also loves to hide in your registry. Because a lot of the things that we just check, it's just on your computer, right? But registry, you have to go a little bit deeper. You know, a lot of people don't want to do that, but we're going to do that. So you want to go Windows R again, we're using that a lot. Reg, edit, enter. So you want to click on H key local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, then run. So all these keys right here are programs. So they have a name and they have a file path. So these are legit. Key pass, Adobe, all of these are valid. And you can literally just create a key. It doesn't even have to be through registry. It can be uh, through code. That's how it's usually done. Uh, give it a name and uh, f data. So that's going to be its file path and it's going to run at startup too. So make sure that there is nothing sketchy here. That is it for checking startup programs. So some other signs, random mouse movements. If your webcam light randomly turns on and off, if your RAM gets especially high and you feel your computer lagging sometimes for no reason, command prompt windows popping up, PowerShell windows popping up. If your wallpaper is changed, sometimes it gets changed to the default windows thing. Sometimes it gets changed to just like a black screen. That's a big red flag. Also just finding random folders and files that look suspicious. All those things you want to take note of. But yeah, that is it for today's video. If you want to learn more about malware and all this sort of stuff, because, you know, it's interesting to me at least, uh, check out my community. My link will be in the description. I literally just give like tutorials on stuff going like pretty deep in this category of hacking. Like malware actually really interests me. And if you want to learn more about like rats, other stuff, community, check it out. Anyway, that's it for today. Like and comment if you enjoyed. Sub if you are new. And I will see you next time. Peace.